Good morning. Today is our last day in Stockholm. Actually, we're spending half the day here and then we're hopping on a plane to head over to Prague. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Actually pointed out that you have no context for who Pablo and Christina are. So just real quickly, Christina uh, was an exchange student in Oregon at the same school Ashley was in and me. Well, we both were in. That we both were in uh, about 14 years ago and they've just remained really good friends ever since. And so for 14 years, we've said we would visit. What is a... Whoa! Thank you guys more, sorry guys more. Enjoy. So we ended up not going to the museum. We were just tired and we didn't end up having very much time. So we instead just went on a walk around their island, uh, Christina and Pablo's. Which is great. I think it's always good to get a little bit of walking in before you get on a plane for a couple hours. Granted, this one is not going to be nearly as long as Denver to Munich, but you're gonna be sitting down for a couple hours, so nonetheless, it's good to get some exercise in. So, we're gonna head to the airport right now. I think we've got about two hours till our plane takes off, and then we'll see you in Prague. Stockholm hasn't quite reached their spring yet, so we'll forgive them for that. But the other part is the buildings are just stunning. This almost feels like Paris. And I didn't expect to see that in what's, I think it's considered Eastern Europe. Yeah, it's Eastern Europe. So I, yeah, I didn't expect to see that here. We found our Airbnb. Oh my gosh, this is a serious maze to get through here. Where are we going? There were like so many turns and going up stairways and down stairways. I don't know if I can remember how to get out of here. Do you remember how to get out of here? No, I don't. I, I guess don't. we're just gonna have to explore this building until we find our way out. Welcome to our Airbnb version of Cribs. This here is the living room. We're moving into the bedroom. You can see white linens, gray headboard, everything you need, some art on the wall. Mm, just really adds to the whole atmosphere of this place. Mirrors, gotta have mirrors. Our uh, kitchen right here. Bathroom, see what this is all about. All right, all right, cool, cool. Pretty standard, you know, everything you need, what you'd expect. All right, this is looking good so far. This is looking good. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. And uh, yeah, gonna have a great time here in Prague. I'm switching over to the GoPro because it's a little bit less conspicuous in this restaurant. So far, I think that we've chosen a winner as long as we can actually get some service. This is Ashley's hungry face. I was gonna get the goulash, but then Ashley decided to get the goulash and you can't get two of the same thing. That's like a waste of an experimentation opportunity. So she got the goulash in a bread bowl and I got this thing. <laughs> it's just like a huge stack of ribs. I don't, know, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm excited to get started. Good spot, decent spot. Really good. 
really good? Mlejnis. Mlejnis for the win. I have no idea how to pronounce that. There are too many consonants in this language. So if this is non-tourist season, it's gotta be crazy during tourist season. Granted, this is a holiday weekend here for, I think, demonstration days tomorrow. Um, but despite all the people here, hopefully you get an appreciation for how gorgeous these buildings are. Like I said, the architecture here is just a lot more, I think, welcoming and ornate than what we saw in Stockholm. It's just, it's impressive. So everyone here is waiting for this clock to go off. Should go off in about five or six minutes. And look at this crowd. This is the astronomical clock on the town hall. This is a tourist attraction in of itself. And people are getting pumped up about it. There's plenty of excitement, especially you can just tell from the from the number of selfie sticks selfie craziness. that are out that people are really excited about what's about to happen. I mean, I'm seeing selfie sticks pop up everywhere. Everyone's getting, oh, everyone, yep, more people are getting their selfie sticks out, so. Get it, get it. Yep. Any time now. The clock was first installed in 1410, making it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest one still operating. So yeah, it definitely works. It is getting jam-packed up in here. Oh my gosh, it's like a party. Everyone's Seriously, here. everyone I, I is stopping. Right now. Okay, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> During attractions like this, I always think oh gosh, it's almost as interesting to look at the actual people watching the attraction than it is to look at the attraction <laughs> itself. Anne, this one's for you. All the way out here. In All the way out here. We're running low on battery, so if I don't, if you don't hear from me again, then it probably is because my camera died. What I'm going to do right now is take a time lapse of that sweet, sweet castle with the sun going down behind it. it went down about an hour ago, but it's still. It's, I'll bet it's going to get really cool and purple soon. Prague, man. Prague for the win. I those lights to turn on. They did. We've been in Prague for just a couple hours now, and so far, impressions? By far one of my most favorite cities I've ever been to. There's like, a it's certain just so interesting. magic about it. <laughs> Prague is actually, I, I was really scared to come to Prague because Why? I guess just I looked at it like it was practically Russia, because it was just, it's the, it's the furthest east I've ever been. Like it's definitely part of Eastern Europe. And so I just thought it was like, oh, like it might as well be Russia. And so it was, it was a little bit scary, but I didn't expect at all for Prague to be as, like, I don't know, artisan as it is. Or it's like very magical. It's kind of whimsical, but it's magical. also got like a lot of history here. Um, 
It's kind of got a romantic side to it like Paris does. The food is amazing. Prague is definitely a winner. Good job. Good pick. Yeah.